let's give it a little bit more time. came of a mysterious All right, might as well get started. Um, so welcome to the stream to show how to run Northgard, um, a Viking 3D strategy game on OpenBSD. So first about the game. Here's the Steam webpage. You can get it on Steam or on Humble Bundle. Um, it's not available on GOG.com, unfortunately, um, which is why we will need this here. So far, just as a Git repository, but it might go into the Steamworks no Steam port on OpenBSD that has a bunch of stops to uh, let these games run. So. It's relatively simple, you just need to run a make file. I'll just show in a moment. So here it is. Um, it's already built, but you just do. You may need to use gmake right now. There's a couple of uncommitted changes, but um, otherwise, just do. And so this will net you steam.hdll, which is what you'll need. Okay, the other thing that you need is hash link. So you can get it with on current with package add. I usually add this. On current, this is how you you obtain it. It's commented out right now. So, but here it is. Um, yeah, this is not the version. This is just my what I'm experimenting with currently. But um, you probably just get version 1.10. Should still work the same. Uh, and then you can download. Um, if you have it on, uh, enabled on Steam, you can download um, Northgard with um, this command. So, so Steam username, and then app name Northgard. You don't even need these. And then for this, you also need. Uh, Package add the downloader, and then you'll find this in, um, in the following directory: steam dpose. This is where you'll find it. You can either work from there, or I usually then copy things over, make a nice uh, tarball, zip tarball. Um, this is where we'll go now. I've Basically, have everything there. I have it divided up by whatever engine it uses. 
to the north guard, and here's my tar ball, and we just go here. And so here in backup, you can see all the things that I needed to move out of the way. The easiest way to do this is um, with the following command. Um, everything here, move everything out of the way. The only problem is, so you see those HTLL files. You'll, you'll, you'll need, of course, all the dependencies here. Um, hash link, if you have the port installed, should already have all of them, the .so files in there. Um, and you have all these HTLL files available from the hash link um, port. The only one that's missing is steam.htll, but we just made that one up there, so you would just copy, uh, in my case, ports, and then we'll just steam step, and then steam.htll, point. So the point, <laughs> a little bit of German slipped in there. Um, this is how you'll get the file here. To. This will probably be a little easier in the future with the Steamworks no Steam port, um, which maybe Hashlink can then just depend on to, to run. And then um, what I did is I looked at um, this one here. You don't need any of this LD preload or LD library pass stuff. I did this detect.hd.hl, but I'm not even sure if that's needed. So. You may need to run um, hl linux slash detect.hl, or you may not. I'm not entirely sure. Either, anyhow, the way to run the game now is just as it's in that run.sh file here. I'll say that Steam is not running, but that's okay. And we're in the menu. I'm just gonna see what's happening on the chat. Not much over here. Alright, this is Northgard. Uh, apparently, online stuff also works. Also, here's the options menu. I set it to, to low um, graphics options, disabled SSAO, depth of field stuff because I'm I'm not getting perfect frame rates but I just want to show you a little bit of gameplay it's by the way it's um actually very um, very um, well rated on Steam I think it has over 90% positive reviews so classified as overwhelmingly positive so we'll just see the, I am the, Higg, the son of the high king Haribyos. the intro and this is my saga. It all began one fateful day. My father had gathered all his yards to make an announcement of the utmost importance. We were to embark for the wondrous lands of Northgard. Riches, conquest and glory awaited us on this mysterious new continent. The Norns had other plans for us. Dozens of armed men suddenly poured into the hall and put an abrupt end to our ambitions and to our lives. They were mercenaries led by a man named Hagen from the clan of the Raven. The accent is interesting, by the way, they pronounce In a the names. Of minutes, we were all slaughtered like sheep. Barely conscious and vastly outnumbered, I had no way to fight back, so I feigned death. I There's also a non-story mode, the map of Northgard, but I think the story gives you a bit of a tutorial. At least that's throne, how I just started playing it at all. And the very symbol of our royalty. I'm letting this run that you can also see that it's actually pretty good production value. 
and a, a pretty much a quality product. Very recent, I think it's from 2018 or 2019. Okay, so this was just I, it already run. So here's the first mission. It's the only thing that I've explored so far, and I do difficulty normal. I have no strength left. When I encountered a group of runaways of the Stag clan, led by a proud young man named Bram. Hagen's men had set his town aflame, and he had nothing left, not even his father, the clan's Jarl, who had died at the hands of the fiend, just like mine. Our common enemy had sailed for Northgard, over which he now had a map. All I could think about was finding him to avenge my father and retrieve the regal horn. Yeah, the frame rate is a little lower because of um, the streaming also. Um, it is better than what I'm seeing so far uh, without streaming. It's still not 100% fluid. This is just to give you a sense. And there may be better graphics cards if you have a p really powerful one. Then um, you might get a better performance here. So by default, the villagers, they will look for food. Yep. So, and I'll give you a bit of tutorial instructions. Scouts. Alright, we'll start by building. First, I'd like to build a woodcutter sludge close to the wood and this is all 3d rendered I don't know if you can um, let me see can I ride cycle I think you can actually not not sure if you can change the perspective maybe not Anyhow, it's all 3D rendered as you can see, because the way it moves as you come closer. Oh, you can zoom in, yeah, like this, and you can zoom out, yeah. Yeah, it's not as choppy, um, and you don't even notice it anymore. Um, when you're done, so I need to assign some of them and right click sends them to a place. This here is. Um, Brand, so he's a pretty good fighter. And one more woodcutters. This one can become a scout. A new villager has arrived here, and they automatically start just gathering food. And so, and here they are scouting for new territory. I need more houses. Let's go one over here. Here's a new area. And then you click on this, and then here you colonize this for 20. And here the scout is doing something. We're colonizing here, and the scout is exploring this new area. Fields and recruit farmers. Okay, so why don't we do this? Yeah, here's fertile land. Then we can get farmers. My scout is still exploring. We have three civilians here who are getting food. I'm gonna send one of them over here for farming.
May you should prepare for winter, yeah. You can stock up on food to prepare for winter later on. Um, I haven't gone that far yet. This one here is just a woodcutter with a big axe. And here the scout is exploring some more. It's a nice system. Audio should be working. I haven't really changed anything. Oh, yeah, here. Yeah, you can see it's a little choppy. It's not as choppy. And this is with a Radeon HD7570, which is probably the higher end of what we can what we can do. Someone needs to build this. I'm not sure what I'm missing here. Maybe I need to get a villager. Yeah. And scouts exploring some more. Uh, and yeah, I can click on this and then colonize it. And we can get whatever is in here. This damaged house. Find some loot there. I have wood and everything, so I might as well build some more houses. Not sure how all this works. You can might as well become a farmer and get us some nice. Um, some nice uh, food. Scout is checking this here out. Okay, we need to build um, somewhere to train And I need a healer's hut. some enemies, generally the wolves here. It's, it's what they look like and some other animals. 
This is probably one of the most graphically um, impressive uh, games that we have on OpenBSD now. I would say that that can run on OpenBSD now. some wolves. Oh, you can see some resources here. Hmm. Winter is almost upon us. Oh, this was quick. It's already November. Didn't realize this was gonna happen so fast. We have food, we have wood. before. I thought there was going to be more time. Here's the healer. Okay. And here you can see the bars now as they fight. And they'll probably come back here. And this one's going to get healed by the healer, I guess. frozen over even. It looks real nice. We're still getting wood production and we're losing food. Because there isn't really any January already. Alright, we want to take on our enemies here. WSAD. Should I build this other thing here? I think so. I'd like to build this over here. Someone automatically gonna come and build it. Why not you? It's a little cost for a construction of a part. Train another warrior. More camps. Oh, is this a camp? Yeah. All right. So I can only sustain two warriors this way. What a 
about our houses? Do we need more houses? I can upgrade them, I guess. Should increase here now. This is one wolf then. are great. No. Then let's colonize this one. And this one. Is there some more fertile land? Here are the resources. Uh, 16 or 16. I need more houses. Alright, let's build more houses. I think I'm starting to figure this out. Scott took a little bit of damage, I guess. One civilian should go here. Become a hunter. Do I need more warriors? I feel like most of all I need more food. Any fertile areas here? Mm. Look at this large healer's head. No fire, fire field. What is this swamp? something here it's raining 
it's July. Yeah, someone needs to build this house. Alright, I got some wood and some, um, what do they call it? Crowns. this one and it's getting a little late in the year maybe next year I'll do it do hunters produce food Production's pretty good. Since the villager working here, okay, very rainy right now. And thundery. I need another one for uh, morale. Your fame and happiness. Yeah. There's nothing here. I might as well fight if I was here. Just one involved. Do they heal just the virtue of being here? Yeah, I guess the healers remote heal. Okay, we'll get these two next year. Send this one to the farm. Yeah. Two of two. Okay. And later you meet other clans, as far as I've heard. And um, I think the regular game to play is with um, randomized maps. I would like another hunter. Now we see two of two here as well. Okay, we're losing wood, we're still gaining food. Doesn't really have much to do with the scout. Oh. Another one of these houses. Uh. 
So why can I not colonize? Oh, I don't have enough food here. Gotcha. The further it is away, I guess, the more you have to pay to colonize it. So this is where we want to start our building. So yeah, let's observe a little bit what's happening around here. And here, here. It's a very pretty game. Frame rate could be a little better. Once AMD GPU actually is fixed, then maybe this is gonna be nice. I should try it on the Vega 64 and see if, if it works fine there. It might really just be that the graphics card is old that I'm using here. Here are the hunters just collecting some meat from deer. In February now. I guess the new year starts in March or April. Happiness is one. Let's hmm. I'm gonna build another one of this here. Why not here? Probably because I moved this villager over here. But soon we should be okay again. slowly all right let's colonize this one the scout can do this thing and then we'll go for this one civilians here. Alright. He's gonna work on this now. And once we have enough food then we'll go over here and happiness has increased again. That's good. I don't know how I get crowns, but uh, town hall and trading, I guess. Here's the town hall. Not sure about trading, how that works. This is the scout. Oh, I have two scouts? I guess so. Yeah, probably from here. Alright, probably when I've needed the woodcutter's lodge. Yeah. I think I'm okay on wood. Alright. Should be finishing this soon. I kept missing a few ch chat messages, but yeah, I run a generic .mp kernel, like the multi-process kernel, of course. Nothing customized or anything. 
it should be pretty much with the vanilla as long as you have enough horsepower um, you should be okay with playing this game like I think the GPU is probably the main bottleneck besides the GPU um, um, no 430 I guess it's everywhere besides the GPU the CPU could also be run so the GPU is an HD 7570 and my CPU is a Ryzen 27 2700 uh, not the very fastest, but pretty good. Not sure how much um, multi-CPU is used for this. Many of these games just use one CPU and depend on good um, single-thread performance. So and it's it's not the greatest. It's got eight cores, but it's not the greatest at single CPU um, uh, performance. It's still pretty good. So. So yeah, and once we get some more kinks worked out in the AMD GPU driver, we can maybe play these things here with it, like much more fluid gameplay. This one here has nothing to do. Yeah, that's okay. It's July already. Yeah, I just wanna to somewhere I need to get to 430 now and then we'll build the shipyard and then finish the, the, or the long ship dock and then finish this level. Oh, FX8350. I don't know about that one. I never had an AMD FX CPU. I have a Ryzen um, 7 2700. It depends on testing things. Where we've had discussions lately, um, uh, it might be good to have some kind of a benchmarking um, tool set, maybe from existing game parts that we could use um, to um, to do some comparison of different systems. It doesn't really exist right now. And there's the Pharonix test suite, which we've been thinking of, but um, uh, that one has not really worked on OpenBSD to this so far. So where do I build this one? Oh, here. Okay. Faces. The interface is pretty well done in this game. It didn't take me long to pick up. Um, how it works. It looks very elegant. Really nicely done. This is only the first level. As far as I can tell, this will get much more complex. I don't know what a feast is about, for example. Two names and two happiness for a month. As well as more fame. And here advanced. I don't have any advanced buildings. I'm pretty sure there's more military buildings. I haven't used this guy brand at all. Probably could have helped dispatching of some of the wolves. And We sell for Northgard. Okay, yeah, this is clearly to yeah defeat Hagen. It's clearly that has been the tutorial mission, and this here will be the next one then. Okay, I'll go back to the menu. This has been enough for today. Uh, so here's single player, by the way. You can set. 
different things here and I think it yeah you're random it creates a random map and AI players for you that's what I tried initially but actually story mode seems to be better um, for getting a bit of a tutorial multiplayer not sure if that's gonna work yeah you need steam for this so um, yeah no multiplayer on OpenBSD unfortunately profile <laughs> Yeah, so I guess 11 missions, secondary objectives, and different clans. You can pick from different clans here, um, and some of them are locked. So there should be quite a bit of time that you can spend on this. Alright. Well, thanks for watching. This was Northgard on OpenBSD.